Hey guys, how do you do? Welcome to your show Problem Users TV. We're continuing with the Android development. Today we're going to see how to work with the material list. Now, in most of our tutorials, actually we've seen how to work with the a normal list view, we've seen grid view, we've also seen recycler view. So today we're going to see a component right here. It's a third party component called material list. We're going to get started with it. We're going to see you can see for instance it's giving us of course cards right here a card each particular card as you can see has the title the description of course two action buttons you can see button one and button two as well as an image so in this particular tutorial we're binding this card to a simple array of data and you can see we're able to handle of course the item click events for each particular card like if we click button two we're able to show of course the description for this particular card okay if we come click button one we're able to show the title of that particular card so we can do that one for each of these particular cards uh right here you can see right here we're showing milky way then this one will show its description this is what we're going to see right here it's a simple tutorial okay we're going to get started of course with a simple array then we're also going to see in the upcoming tutorials how to work with SQLite data how to work with of course master uh, detail view and also how to work with uh, MySQL uh, database so this is our first let's get started so guys the first thing let's jump over to Android Studio of course we go ahead create our project now go type the project name API 16 uh, that's my minimum then of course we're going to go choose the empty activity then click next then of course you click ok this is going to create for us our project of course with one activity as well as one layout okay once we have that one then of course the first thing we're going to do we're going to jump over to our build scripts so come with your gradle scripts build or gradle module up so here we're going to add you can see of course we have the constraint layout we're going to have of course the design support library a compact library then of course we're going to add this particular third party library you can see compile uh, github.dixafree.material list okay so go ahead add this particular library this is the material list that you're going to be using all right so uh, then of course click sync to sync your project okay that's going to sync our project then of course inside the uh, drawables right here let's come add some of the images that you're going to be showing in our list so you can see these are my galaxy images then of course in the layout you come to activity main we're going to add this one right here you can see this of course is our material list definition so we come specify it inside the activity main.xml uh, layout take note of the id material list view we're going to reference it from within our code so next we're going to jump to our source code this is a very simple tutorial we're only going to have two classes of course our main activity as well as our galaxy now galaxy this of course is our data object okay okay it's our class is going to be our data object is going to represent the data that you're going to show in a simple in a single card so public class galaxy so we're going to have inside our data object first these are the properties of which galaxy a galaxy has a name it has a description and then of course it has an image of course which is an integer okay then right here in our constructor we're going to be able to pass this for instance if you insert the uh, galaxy right here you'll be required to pass as a name a description and then of course an image right here then of course we'll take whatever you've passed us and then of course assign them to our variables uh, right here okay We'll assign them to our name description as well as the image then lastly we're going to have their getters and setters so the data we're going to pass them via the constructor then to retrieve them of course we're going to have the getters right here that's going to retrieve this particular uh, data the data for each particular galaxy for instance if you call the get name we're going to return for you the name of that particular galaxy that's it that's our data object is that simple Let's jump over to our main activity. 
So the next one, we're going to jump to our main activity. Of course, it derives from the app compat activity right here, which is going to ensure that, of course, is going to uh, support uh, even a lot of the previous devices. So we come right at this our main activity. We're going to have the on create method. This is the method that's going to get called when, of course, our activity is, has been created. Now, in our case, what we're going to do, we're going to call the set content view which is going to inflate our activity main.xml and then show it as our UI or it. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, inside the activity main, we saw that we did add right our material list view. Okay. So the material list view, actually this is a class that of course it's a third party library, but then it's a child of recycler view. Okay. So it's going to have a lot of the capabilities of a recycler view. So we'll go ahead, add it, define it right here as uh, declare it. Then we're going to have a simple method called create card. This method is going to take a galaxy object and then of course create a card for it. So yes, we're passing in a final a galaxy object right here. So to create a card, this is how we're going to uh, create a card. Card card equal to new card dot builder with the builder function. Then of course we pass the context, which is this. Then, of course, with provider, we insert a new card provider and then pass it. And then, of course, our set layout. So, we're going to set a uh, use right here material basic image uh, buttons card layout. So, of course, this is an inbuilt layout, so you can just specify it. It's going to give us one image, two buttons, of course, uh, one title, and then, of course, one description as we had seen. Then, of course, come right here, we set the title now. Take note that, of course, we were passing in a galaxy object, so we're going to get the name of the galaxy. So g dot get name. Then, of course, we pass it as the title. Then, of course, gravity dot end. All right, we're going to uh, just align it to the right side, of course, of our card. Okay, so the title we're going to align it to the right side of our card view. Then of course the description g dot set description. Of course, if you want to show it within the center, if if you want to align it within the center, you can just use the gravity dot center horizontal, okay, or of course gravity dot center vertical, uh, depending on how you want to align it. For me, I'm going to align it of uh, the title as well as the description to the right side of the card, okay. So that is it. Description g dot get description is going to give us the description of the card view of the galaxy. Then of course, then g dot get image. All right, this is going to give us the image of that particular galaxy. Then we're going to pass it inside our set drawable our method. Then of course, set drawable configuration. This is the drawable config the configuration for the image. Now. If you want to resize the image, this is how you do resize it. Um, inside it, it's actually making use of the Picasso library. Okay, so we can use the request creator to resize. We pass in the size, the width, and then of course the height. If you want to, to use, of course, the default sizing, then you can just use the request creator dot fit. This is going to fit at the image uh, with the default size. So this is the configuration for our drawable. Then, of course, next we're going to come, we need to add the actions, okay, the action buttons. So, we first add our left action button, so r.id, the left action button, set text, now check not new text action, then set text right here, button 1, then set a text resource, we give it right here, resource color, that is the color, we're going to use the color accent, and of course we set the listener. Of course for our button click so if the user clicks our button for us this is what we're going to show this is the toast message you're going to show then g dot get name right here we get the name of the of course card that has been clicked the galaxy that has been clicked we're going to show it of course in our toast message that's our first button now we can add two buttons we're going to add the second action button right here this same round is going to be button 2. When clicked, we're going to get the description. Okay, you can see card get provider dot get description. So, of course, this same round we're getting it from our card, but also in the first one, we also get it directly uh, from the galaxy object that were passed to us. Then, of course, lastly, we're going to call the end config 
and then we call the build is going to build our card once it's build our card of course we're going to have a card object so that particular card we need to add it to our adapter so to add it to our adapter we're going to call material list view to get adapter dot add then we add of course the card for it here a card object of course to our adapter that's going to add it okay so this is it this is our create card this is a method that's going to create our card view and then of course add it to our adapter for our list view then once we have that one next we just need to define our data source okay so in this case we're going to use a simple array as our data get data method is going to return as of course a galaxy array so galaxy galaxy is equal to new galaxy we're going to have 10 galaxies inside our galaxy array so to create a simple uh, galaxy to instantiate you can see galaxy g equal to new galaxy then whirlpool then the description of the whirlpool then of course it's image then we add that particular galaxies galaxy object to a galaxy so galaxy as the first item we add it right here to our galaxies now we do the same for the nine other galaxies and then of course return our galaxy array okay so this is going to act as a data source so the next thing we need to do of course let's come right here create initialize view that's going to initialize our material list view and then finally create of course our bind data that's going to bind our data source of course uh, to our list view so bind data we're going to have a for loop right here for galaxy g get data so we're going to loop through our galaxies then get of course for each particular iteration we're going to create a card then of course add it of course to our list view so this is the create card then we pass in our galaxy object okay this is going to be our bind data then lastly we call of course the initialize views inside our main activity then of course we call the bind data this is going to bind our data of course to our um it's going to bind our data of course to our material list view okay so guys that's it we just proceed on and then of course click run of course to run our project so if we run the project you can see here of course we have our array our list bound of course to our array if we come click button one we're able to handle of course the on click event you can see we're able to show the title if we come click button two right here you can also see we're able to show uh, the description okay you can see our data is bound of course to our material list so this of course is our first material list tutorial we're going to in the next class we're going to see how to work with the master detail view so that if you click the button so able to we're going to be able to open of course an activity okay and pass data to it that's it take care i'll catch you in the next class